Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on dimensional analysis. So, uh, we talked about the similarities. Uh, now, uh, what we uh, do normally in the case of uh, dimensional analysis, uh, it is uh, frequently used in the process engineering to represent a physical phenomena in terms of mathematical equation that is essentially dimensionless. So, basically, if uh, we have uh, uh, these equations we talked uh, if you know the uh, equations governing the fluid flow or heat transfer or so. Uh, so, in those cases uh, what we do is normally uh, we uh, uh, try to uh, you know uh, have this equation in the dimensionless form. For example, if you uh, talk about uh, the uh, fluid flow equation. So, what we do normally is you have uh, V so, we are uh, expressing it by uh, dividing with uh, a characteristic velocity. Similarly, uh, P star will be uh, you know that is P minus P naught by uh, P V square. So, this way you get uh, you know you, uh, you have uh, again T star. So, T star will be T into V by L. So, you have characteristic length, you have a reference velocity. So, uh, similarly uh, you know X star will be x will be divided by a characteristic length, then you have y star again y by y by l or z star will be z by l. Then uh, you get uh, you have uh, you know the operators uh, you know uh, point with this uh, they, they also need to be uh, you know expressed. So, uh, so that star uh, that will be you know l times uh, uh, grad. So, that will be again uh, you will be uh, using so, you will have uh, delta 1 times uh, similarly, you will have uh, uh, star st square. So, that will be um, L square and that uh, you will be delta square. So, you will have uh, uh, dou square by dou x uh, star square like that. So, so you will have uh, uh, dou square by dou x uh, in this case you will have uh, uh, dou square by dou x square and, and delta 1 multiplied by that. So, that way uh, you do and then once you uh, put them into the um, equation for the continuity and also the momentum conservation. So, in that uh, case also if you, uh, you, you must have uh, done that and in that case uh, you get uh, you know the two kind of uh, uh, you know uh, number dimensionless numbers and that is one you are getting as Reynolds number that is L V rho by mu and then you are also getting the fraud number that is v square by g l. So, this is how you know uh, that is uh, used for uh, that is the use of these uh, non dimensionalizing and then uh, on, on both these sides when you do. So, you get uh, you know uh, you will be uh, having the expression coming up like d v is you know uh, star by d t. So, uh, and it is star. So, that will be uh, coming as minus of grad star p star. So, that is what uh, you do normally you have the first term uh, dou p by dou x or so and then you get uh, the term like uh, mu by l v rho and that multiplied by grad star uh, v square v star and then you get uh, you know g l by v square and then you get uh, you know uh, that that is uh, uh, multiplied by you know uh, g. So, so g, uh, g star is coming. So, basically what you see you are getting these th two terms. So, uh, so that is what it is coming you you, you get these uh, uh, these non dimensional uh, uh, quantities that is what you are uh, getting. What I mean to say that normally uh, we try to convert uh, these uh, equations that is uh, essentially uh, dimensionless. Now, uh, this uh, technique uh, which is generally applied 
it is uh, to work out a uh, relationship between the various measurable quantities in a system. So, what we there that if, if you talk about any system, so you will have uh, one variable that will be represented in terms of other you know parameters or other, other variables. So, uh, you will have to have a particular relationship and uh, you determine the minimum possible number of variables required to define the geometry and also operating conditions in the system and then you go for scaling down or scaling up of uh, uh, the system. So, that is the you know uh, uh, the way you uh, uh, that there is the technique which is normally applied. So, uh, the first method which is used for uh, uh, such approach is the uh, you know Rayleigh's method of indices. Now, what Rayleigh's method of indices say that uh, in this case the dimensional uh, analysis will be based on the method of uh, indices. So, uh, you know what happens that uh, the relationship between different physical quantities can be expressed as the uh, product of uh, uh, power functions. So, what you do here that uh, you have uh, x naught suppose uh, uh, this is a dependent variable and that is expressed in terms of uh, c 1 uh, into x 1 raised to the power a x 2 raised to the power b and uh, similarly x 3 raised to the power c and, and so on. So, suppose uh, c 1 is expressed uh, you know uh, c 1 a b and c all these are the uh, constants. So, uh, you know if you uh, try to have the uh, dimensionless uh, groups. So, if you uh, see further if you have the uh, you know uh, uh, from uh, this place onwards again uh, you can have the capital X 1 capital X 2 and a capital X 3. So, they can even be expressed you know uh, you can have these uh, uh, you know dimensionless groups defined that is capital X naught similarly capital X 1 capital X 2 and a capital X 3. So, they also can have with the different constants capital A B C you can express them. So, you can uh, further you know express like if you have non dimensional uh, group. So, that is x naught can be expressed as uh, the C 1 prime and you have the uh, you know x 1 raised to the power a and similarly x 2 raised to the power b similarly x 3 raised to the power c. So, these are the non dimensional groups that can also be expressed you know in terms of these indices uh, and that will be uh, going on. So, here again c 1 prime then a b and c they are again the constants. So, uh, and then you are uh, you know uh, uh, we will see that they will be uh, further equated uh, on, on both these sides and you can have the, uh, you, the uh, you know uh, uh, evaluation of these constants and you can see that how they can be uh, expressed. Another uh, method which is uh, also used is the uh, you know uh, Buckingham uh, pi theorem. So, now in this case it is normally used in the dimensional analysis to determine the number of dimensionless groups that one can expect in the analysis of any uh, given physical uh, phenomena. So, here what you do is uh, normally uh, you are having the uh, number of uh, the dimensionless groups you are trying to determine and that will be depending upon uh, you know the value that will be equivalent to the E minus f. So, you have basically f that will be representing the total number of primary quantities the which is required for uh, you know the expressing and then uh, the e value is will be representing the total number of independent and uh, dependent variables which will be governing the process. So, e minus f will be basically telling you the number of uh, those pi you know groups and uh, then uh, this way you can have those dimensionless uh, you know numbers uh, coming into existence. So, that, uh, that that can be found out. So, uh, what you do in this case you have f of uh, uh, pi 1, pi 2, pi 3 uh, that will be. So, in the case of uh, pi theorem you will have the uh, pi 1, pi 2 and, and pi 3. So, they will be equal to uh, 0. So, they will be basically uh, they, they are the independent uh, you know products of uh, the uh, 
you know uh, arguments that is uh, uh, there which is uh, dimensionless and uh, uh, you know uh, you you find these you now how many numbers will be there that will be uh, equal to e minus f so this way uh, you try to have you know uh, the calculation of uh, these uh, you know pi groups so for example if you uh, look at uh, one of the uh, uh, problem like uh, you have to have the uh, you know rising velocity you have to have this for this problem rising velocity of spherical shaped particle spherical shaped inclusion in a stationary fluid so suppose you have to uh, have the uh, you know calculation of the dimensionless you know uh, uh, these groups. So, uh, what you do you can um, have the uh, use of this Buckingham um, uh, pi theorem and uh, uh, what we see that uh, normally if you uh, talk about the rising velocity which is there because uh, in this is a problem in the case of steel making where the inclusion if they are there they are normally lighter and they have the tendency to uh, float uh, you know uh, towards the uh, upper side. So, uh, normally your v rise, so this v rise will be a uh, function of the uh, weight of the particle, then you have the density of the particle, you have the uh, coefficient of viscosity of the medium and also the density of the medium. So, normally uh, it is a uh, function of uh, uh, you know uh, weight of the particle w p you have diameter of the particle, you have the coefficient of viscosity of the medium and the uh, density of the uh, medium. Now, uh, if you use these Rayleigh's method of uh, indices, so you can uh, write a functional relationship of the uh, type. So, you will have uh, V rise, it will be uh, C 1 times uh, you know uh, W rho. So, that will be uh, power a then d p raised to the power b then you have mu raised to the power uh, you know c and then similarly rho raised to the power d. So, that way you can have uh, you know uh, you can um, these are the indices which are uh, you know these. Uh, so, uh, you will have uh, uh, the to know the what are the dimension of uh, uh, these you know variables. Suppose, your variable is your uh, uh, rise velocity. So, you are uh, uh, you know symbol is uh, you have v r and it is uh, unit is as it is a velocity. So, it will be meter per second and if you have the uh, to know the dimension. So, uh, it will be l t minus 1. Similarly, uh, you have the uh, weight of the particle and uh, weight of the particle you do it by w p. So, uh, it will be uh, you know uh, normally kg meter uh, per second square and you will have m l t minus 2. Then uh, you have the uh, density. So, if you talk about the density of fluid, so you have that is uh, uh, rho. So, you will have uh, kg uh, you know per meter cube and it will be m l minus 3. So, uh, then uh, uh, then comes your uh, the after density you have the uh, diameter of the particle. So, you have d p. So, diameter will be in terms of uh, meter only. So, uh, so you will have m I know this is l and uh, then the last is your uh, mu. So, that is coefficient of viscosity and uh, you know that is uh, mu and uh, that will be uh, you know uh, kg uh, you know that is uh, if you look at that will be kg per meter per second and you will have m l minus 1 t minus 1. So, once you know uh, you, you must have the idea about uh, these dimensions and you have to you know uh, equate on, on, on this side you have to find the number of pi which is required you know uh, in, in that case. Now, in this case if you look at the number of uh, you know primary uh, quantity is uh, 3. So, number of uh, primary quantity will be 3 and uh, 
If you look at the uh, independent and dependent variable that is W p d p mu rho and v. So, that is your uh, 5. So, E is 5 and f is 3. So, in that case if you uh, go for E minus f, E minus f will be uh, 2. So, you will have to have you will have 2 uh, you know uh, uh, independent pi groups uh, that you can form. So, you will have 2 independent pi groups. And, and that will be required for the uh, representation uh, you know uh, you know that is uh, in the dimensionless form. So, you can write uh, you know that f uh, you know prime pi 1 pi 2 that will be equal to 0. Now, uh, what you see is that uh, if you uh, equate uh, on, on both these sides. So, uh, uh, you, you have to have the uh, dimensions on both the sides. So, you have uh, you know in, in the earlier case this is L t minus 1. So, you will have m 0 L and t minus 1. So, that is uh, and that will be uh, that we have seen that uh, uh, you will have uh, uh, the uh, 4 parameters and, and that on uh, that have the indices a, b, c and d. So, uh, so those values are W p uh, on that a d p b and mu and c and rho on uh, d. So, you will have uh, those expressions. So, you will have m l t minus 2 that will be a. Similarly, you will have uh, l that is uh, on b. Similarly, you will have uh, m l minus uh, uh, 1. So, you will have uh, those uh, uh, values. So, you will have uh, then mu mu will be uh, m l minus 1 uh, and t minus 1. So, uh, on that uh, so we have uh, uh, taken uh, rho raised to the power d. So, rho is your m l uh, minus 3. So, uh, you will have uh, m l minus 3 and uh, you will have uh, the um, uh, m l minus 1 t minus 1. So, m l minus 1 m l minus 3. So, k g per meter cube and uh, then you will have uh, m l minus 1 uh, t minus 1 and that uh, raised to c and d. So, basically you can have uh, you know uh, you can uh, do the, um, the the equation can be equated. So, this side it is 1 and if you look at here uh, it will be uh, uh, 1. So, that is a uh, plus b and then uh, you have uh, minus 3 c and uh, you have minus d. So, that will be 1. So, 1 will be a plus b minus 3 c minus d. So, similarly uh, you have t is uh, you know m is 0. So, 0 will be uh, equal to uh, if you look at uh, uh, the m. So, it will be a then uh, you have plus c and here also plus d. So, this way and, and if you go for t so, it will be t uh, is minus 1 on this side and on this side if you look at it will be uh, you know uh, t is here it is uh, uh, minus uh, uh, 2a and, and, and similarly you will have uh, t as minus d. So, uh, you know m l uh, so that way uh, you will have uh, the equations so that uh, uh, you can come and if you equate uh, you know these equations. So, you will have uh, uh, that is uh, minus 2 a and uh, the, the you will have further minus d. So, you can have uh, you know uh, you can find these uh, a b c and uh, you know have uh, uh, d. So, if you manipulate these equations then you can have uh, uh, you can find the value of b as minus 1 and that you can have the expression of uh, you know uh, c and d are expressed in terms of a because you have three equations and four unknowns. So, you c and d can be expressed in terms of uh, a. So, you have uh, c as a minus 1 and d as 2 a plus 1. Uh, so, we can have uh, that uh, minus 1 as two minus 2 a minus d. So, you get uh, b as minus 1 that uh, by some manipulation and then you get uh, the c and d expressed in terms of a. And uh, you can have uh, you know uh, further you can express uh, uh, you know the in terms of uh, 
the two quantities that will be f of rho v rise uh, d p upon mu and uh, you know w p uh, rho by uh, mu square. So, that will be equal to 0. So, basically you are uh, uh, in a position to uh, devise two kind of uh, you know uh, non dimensional uh, uh, numbers that is uh, uh, for this uh, inclusions uh, when you do the inclusion analysis and the two groups which you get will be uh, that will be rho v rise uh, you know d p upon mu and the another group which you get pi 2 it will be uh, w p then into rho and divided by mu square. So, uh, what you see now if you look at uh, uh, these uh, numbers what you see uh, this is nothing but this is the number which is uh, analogous to the Reynolds number which we have studied rho v d upon mu. So, and this is another you know uh, uh, dimensionless group which you are uh, having uh, in, in that case. So, uh, this way uh, you try uh, to have uh, the uh, the solution of these uh, uh, you know equations. So, you have to uh, first uh, uh, write down these two equations on both the sides you have to have the indices uh, uh, you know being equated you have to solve and then you get these uh, expressions and further uh, you are uh, having you know uh, these uh, values of uh, these two pi groups. So, uh, so, so that is how you get these non-dimensional uh, you know numbers and they have their uh, significance. So, when you are trying to uh, you know analyze that uh, system that time uh, you try to uh, have the use of these numbers. So, uh, you may have uh, different types of uh, you know uh, you know dimensionless groups which are used in the case of uh, uh, this uh, modeling and uh, you know uh, like uh, you when you go for the uh, fluid flow uh, type of uh, uh, you know cases. So, in the case of uh, uh, fluid flow uh, you have the uh, group is your Reynolds number and uh, that is by rho L you know u upon mu. So, that is how uh, you have uh, these uh, you know uh, dimensionless uh, uh, number group that is. So, this is your uh, application and uh, that is how you define. So, this is your definition and uh, this is the group. Similarly, if you go for the uh, wave and surface behavior. So, in that case uh, you know, what you do or, or, or uh, when you are going to use for the pouring stream. So, in that case you have uh, uh, that value is u square by g l and that is your fraud number. So, we have uh, seen this this number uh, we have uh, talked about uh, we have uh, dealt with this number earlier. So, that is your uh, the fraud number. Similarly, uh, you go for uh, you know the uh, uh, the force convection or mass transfer. So, in those cases uh, you have a number that is your peclet number and the peclet number uh, will be uh, you know uh, L u upon alpha or L u upon uh, d. So, that way uh, you know uh, it is basically the ratio between convection and diffusion. So, that way uh, you get this uh, uh, peclet number defined. Similarly, uh, you know when you have uh, the atomization of liquid jets in those cases you come across the number that is your Weber number. So, there uh, you have the surface tension term coming into uh, picture. Then uh, many a times in, in the case of forced and free convection. you come across uh, the group and uh, that is your Prandtl number and uh, the Prandtl number is uh, defined as mu C p by k. And uh, in the case of mass transfer when you will deal with 
the uh, you know uh, concentration equation or when we be solving for the scalar you know transport equations. In those, the, those cases you have a um, Smith number. So, that is uh, a Smith number and uh, you know uh, that is uh, um, the group is mu by uh, rho d. So, that is uh, you know uh, uh, that is also usually so normally uh, uh, you have a certain value assigned to it uh, which we assume. So, basically these are uh, the uh, different type of uh, you know uh, uh, groups which you normally come across. So, you also you will also come across other numbers like uh, uh, you come to uh, for the Tundish Richardson number when we talk about the, the convection or natural convection especially when we deal with the heat transfer cases. So, in those cases uh, those numbers also are uh, you know uh, coming into picture and these are you know the groups. So, that is uh, uh, you are uh, you, you know they are they are uh, going to be dealt with when we uh, you know deal with these uh, cases. Then um, uh, you know they are uh, um, you know if, uh, that is normally used. Now, these uh, um, values also uh, it has been reported that uh, uh, when you uh, use these uh, various dimensionless numbers or, or groups. So, uh, normally you go for the water modeling in the case of uh, uh, the uh, Tundis uh, system. So, uh, the uh, steel is basically uh, replaced with water because their kinematic viscosity is same uh, at the melting temperature of uh, steel and at the normal temperature uh, in case of water. So, uh, normally uh, you have uh, when you go for the uh, full scale model. So, when you have uh, this so if you talk about these uh, numbers and uh, you have a um, you have the steel system. So, and if you go for the full scale you know uh, water model. So, if you uh, see that when you talk about these Reynolds number. So, you do the Reynolds similarity. So, in that case uh, if it is 1. So, normally it is reported uh, you know in the uh, you know by Elik Bushy and Jekyll that normally we should uh, report it uh, to be 1.1 for the Reynolds number in steel system it is 1. So, full scale water model you can have uh, 1.1. Similarly, you can have for the um, uh, fraud number. So, if it is 1. So, you here also you keep uh, 1. So, that uh, uh, fraud you know fraud similarity is normally uh, you know uh, keep kept in mind. So, that is uh, you know in the steel system it is 1 then full scale water model also you keep it as uh, 1. So, similarly for the uh, you know Weber number if you talk for Weber uh, uh, you know it is uh, uh, if it is 1. So, in that case it is will be uh, 3.1. So, similar to that you have uh, you know other numbers uh, like you have sometimes the the Morton number. So, Morton number is the one which is uh, uh, used for the velocity of bubbles in the liquids and that is normally uh, used for the two phase flows or multi phase flows when we do in the uh, Tundis. So, in those cases uh, for the this is the dimensionless group is the Morton number and uh, that is uh, you know G mu uh, you know. Uh, so, you have uh, an expression for that and for that uh, the uh, for the full scale water model that ratio becomes equal uh, close to uh, if it is 1 in steel system it is coming close to you know, 45 in the water model. So, uh, these uh, you know these numbers so that needs to be kept in mind when you are doing the water modeling and uh, how you know the, that uh, full scale water model how these uh, you know numbers the, how these uh, for, the, for the steel as well as full scale model what numbers uh, you know should be uh, there. So, that uh, you need to know. So, that can be uh, taken uh, as a reference. Uh, from the uh, literature also and, and this is how typically they vary. So, this is about uh, you know the uh, dimensionless uh, you know uh, doing the dimensional analysis uh, in the case of uh, this uh, Tundis system and uh, we will uh, when we will uh, be uh, doing that uh, discussing about these uh, water modeling or the scaling. So, at that time uh, 
we will have the introduction to these uh, numbers especially the Reynolds and the fraud. So, you will have the similarity based on uh, these two that is what we have already discussed and also their you know uh, significance in those cases. Thank you very much. Thank you.